This is Rafael Colantonio, Creative Director and President of Wolf Eye Studios, and I'm here today to tell you about our current game in development, Weird West. At its core, Weird West is an action RPG set in a fantasy reimagining of the Wild West. You play through the adventures of five heroes that have intertwined destinies on a quest to unveil one of the biggest mysteries of the Weird West. While we describe Weird West as an action RPG, some would actually refer to the game as an immersive sim. There are many elements that set Weird West apart from any other action RPG out there, and I would love to show you a few examples now. First, the simulation and sandbox nature of Weird West. The bulk of the team is composed of co-creators of Dishonored and Prey, so simulation is like a religion to us. It is in our DNA to let the players play their own way. Weird West is designed in a way that accommodates many playstyles and many playthroughs. Whether you like combat or trickery or stealth or a mix of all of that, you'll enjoy experimenting with the tools the game offers in a system-rich and physically simulated world. Next, the setting and visual direction. The setting is Weird West, you guessed it. It's an opportunity for us to explore a genre that has been kept underground, and we're excited about bringing our own take on it. As far as the visuals, we're going for a mix of 3D with hand-drawn textures and uncommon palette that we think bring a unique style to the game. We want our world to be instantly recognizable and convey the mystery that is so important to the experience. Now, let's talk about how scripted versus how dynamic is the experience. While the game has a main quest, the events and the quests outside of the main path make use of what we call the conductor, which creates events and crafts a narrative that is specific to each playthrough. For example, let's say you kill one of these merchants while the other one escapes. The survivor will throw a vendetta at you and chances are they'll ambush you later when you expect it the least. This participates to the feeling of a very tailored experience per player. Finally, one more thing I wanted to mention is that your actions are permanent in Weird West. While you may resurrect when killed, your companion won't resurrect if you did not have a chance to revive them on time. And whatever choices you've made will stay in the game. So, stealing shops and killing people have consequences you cannot discard by coming back in time with a simple game reload. We think it is a powerful way to give meaning to your actions and keep the tension high. That's about it for today. We have a few more surprises that I can't wait to talk about, but we're keeping some of this for later. I hope you enjoyed what you saw, and please stay tuned for future news about Weird West.